Welcome to my support set spotlight for Way of Martial Knowledge. I'm FakeFox and in this video I will explain everything you need to know about this support set. Way of Martial Knowledge is a 5-piece offensive support set often used by trial groups. It is one of the Craig Lauren zone sets and with that part of the base game. Similar to other Overland zone sets, specific pieces drop from specific activities and are tradable. The set is light armor and the minor set bonuses are magicka and 2 times spell and weapon damage. The 5p set bonus is, while your stamina is below 50%, your light attacks cause the enemy to take 8% additional damage for 5 seconds. This effect can occur once every 8 seconds. With that the maximum uptime is 62.5% and is roughly a 4% damage increase because of how percent damage modifiers are calculated. The cooldown is global, so the set can only be applied to one target at a time. The main challenge with the set is more or less constantly being under 50% stamina. With the Deadlands patch, the cost of bash, so light attacking and block, has been reduced by over 50%. Bashing can still be utilized, but is no longer enough to control the stamina without other methods. This means integrating one or two useful stamina abilities is the best approach for Magicka builds. For stamina builds, this is obviously not an issue. With the hybridization of ability scaling in the upcoming Ascending Tide patch, this will become a lot more viable for both healers and Magicka damage dealers. For healers, the best options are to use Vigor, Bone Shield or any class-based support that costs stamina. And Magicka damage dealers can for example play with Deadly Cloak and Barb Trap, but with Ascending Tide basically any stamina dot will work well. Another trick to make martial knowledge easier to manage is reducing stamina sustain, leaving out CP nodes and passives that return stamina or reduce stamina cost. Especially for healers, using the mythic item Spoldorf Ruin is also a really great way to reduce stamina regeneration. Because Spoldorf Ruin is also one of the strongest support sets in itself, this is very efficient. But of course stamina is also important for survival, so you still need to be able to block, dodge or sprint, so don't overdo it. CP nodes such as Expert Evasion, Slippery or Celerity are also amazing to stay mobile with low stamina sustain. Martial Knowledge leaves a debuff on the target that can be tracked by the game's own buff tracker as well as add-ons and logs. Tracking the set is absolutely not required, but it can still help especially when wearing the set on one bar only. So Martial Knowledge works a bit better on PC with tracking add-ons, but it can still be used absolutely fine on console as well. Managing stamina is really the main difficulty. So now to the conclusion. When and where should you even use Martial Knowledge? For trial content, Martial Knowledge is a second tier support set. It is strong and optimized groups want to include it, but other support sets such as Roaring Opportunist, Elemental Catalyst or Spell Power Cure for example have a far higher priority. In 4 player groups, the set is not worth using at all because of all the stronger set options. Martial Knowledge is also a set that should only be used in single target fights or multi-target fights that still have a priority target, such as Basai in Rockgrove for example. I would say Martial Knowledge is a difficult to use support set. It requires a lot of micromanagement and can be really difficult to use in movement heavy encounters, especially for less experienced players. I think the set is slightly more interesting for PC over console because of better group optimization in general and tracking add-ons making it a bit easier to wear on one bar but the difficulty of using it is still more or less the same across platforms. Martial Knowledge is commonly used by both healers and damage dealers. Because it is a second tier support set and can be used quite well by DDs, it is often moved to one of the weaker DDs in a group if the healers are occupied with other sets. But having the set on a healer, if possible, is still more optimal. Martial Knowledge can be used by any class, but those without stamina sustain passives or at least controllable ones are arguably better. Dragon Knight is probably the worst and Necromancer can also be somewhat problematic. I recommend picking up the set for advanced healers and support focused damage dealers that want to play in optimized trial groups. The set is very easy to get, but I just think it's not worth the effort for beginner or casual player as you just won't get any worth out of it. And that's it for this support set spotlight. 
If you have any further questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And thanks for watching.